Welcome back, everyone, to Muscle Gerbil Plays Echo. So we put the cube in the light, and it caused the palace to f start freaking out. Let's go investigate if we can get the power turned back on. My HUD's been updated with some new information of where I need to go. So let's get going. See that? The suit's being enabled to interface with the palace. Maybe it's Foster trying to help. Foster was many things, but not a systems physicist. Why are you still denying that we have a chance? Everything around us is a marvel. Everything around you is critically unstable. I think the whole place is malfunctioning. You should be getting out of there. What in the world is a systems physicist? Does Lenny mean a systems engineer? Look, I got a new waypoint, and it's a lot closer. Interesting. The cube is telling me where to go when it lights up. But now I can just open these doors. Then it lights on them. That's convenient. We're getting really deep into the palace now. Like, are we gonna have to get to the core? What's that light? Look at that! Did you see that? It charged my suit. I don't know what sort of holographic phenomenon that was, but it was extremely compatible with the dual retention system of your suit. Okay, so there's power stations scattered about as well. It's the look. There are more of them. Power for your suit won't be a problem. The outside of the palace sectors burn red hot, but even inside the walls and floors, I read a buildup of gravity charge. Why would anyone need power on a scale like that? I hope it's not part of the malfunction. Overcharging would be catastrophic. Always seeing the bright side. Why would you need power like that? This whole thing is planet-wide, they said. Probably takes a massive amount of power. Ooh, another tuning fork. So that's three so far. It's supposed to go this way. So we're going to investigate the opposite. Oh, wow. So there's a lot of options. Is that the Ark of the Covenant? Or a model of the Ark of the Covenant? I think it is. We're just repeating rooms here. This palace is playing tricks on me. This is a labyrinth. Repeating rooms and a bad sense of direction do not mesh well. We're gonna keep powering through. This what is bad, that? N. The palace system's shut down, but it's still charging. The jewel mass is nearing the Dirac child limit. What's going on? That felt horrible. I couldn't move. It was a massive energy discharge. It must have made your suit brace. The lights have stabilized. The discharge kicked in system processes planet-wide, but it's producing a lot more energy than needed. Building up charge again. That can't be good. Well, at least I have some light now, so I can navigate a little bit easier without my flashlights. Alright, spoke too soon. Another discharge. 
There's air now. How is that possible? I don't know. The chemical composition of the environment was altered in the blink of an eye. That must have been what the energy buildup was for. Tell me this planet can just change the chemical composition of things in an instant. What Either that or... Flowers? They weren't here before the blackout, right? No, they were not. I guess it's part of the welcoming package. So this planet can just change itself on a whim, including chemical compositions of things. Or, Quaid finally made it to the oxygen-creating machine on the surface after speaking with Guado. Give them air, Cohagen. What's that? Eh, it's just a stain on the floor. That'll swift her up. No, oh, there are more of them. These rolling blackouts. Everything is so neat. Weird how it scatters these chunks all over. Ooh, they're getting bigger. What the? This one moves. Worse, it's alive. The sphere appears when humans or animals are detected in close proximity, but this. The, the black goo is alive? That can't be good. All right, so now my threat ring is a sphere. It indicates where things are around me. Every time it blacks out, they start getting bigger. What are they? It can't be Foster, right? I mean, the palace did try to read the cube and then malfunction. This can't be the palace attempting to bring him back, right? No matter the intent, that's not Foster. It's not sentient. And it's not sentient yet. Every time it blacks out, they get bigger and more advanced. What does that mean? I get color now. The suit senses a threat. Yellow means that you might be noticed. Red means you're targeted. Okay, so it goes from blue to red, and each step up is a, a bigger threat. Cubes activating. This cannot be good. A couple more of these, and these things are going to be fully alive. Soon. Are you still sure this is a good idea? No, I don't think this is a good idea at all. Look how many there are. Thankfully, they can't walk on two legs. Yet. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Absurd. The palace populating itself with these grotesque hostiles. Or you charging on like you'll be able to survive when they're fully evolved. I never expected this to be easy. Those are me. Those are N. They're copies. Is the 
palace trying to stop me from my mission. Oh no. They're gonna get even more powerful. No threats detected on the suit, though, in this room. Now the ring's gone yellow. Now the ring has gone red. Oh, my gun is still offline. Alright, we're gonna try and... Resident Evil sneak past it. What is this? That's you, Hen. But why would it build copies of me? Oh! Ah! Ah! Got a mash! It jumped me. The red spikes suggest that you won't survive another encounter like that. I don't get it. Why would the palace copy and then attack the first human to arrive? It makes no sense. The constant crashing indicates deep corruption. Those creatures must be part of that malfunction. Whew. Whew, okay. Oh, I can only take two hits at the moment? Alright, I need to be careful around these things then. Two hits and you're dead. And everything can see me at this point. Right, I need to hide. Or not. Where's it going? Oh, tuning fork. Oh, there's probably one on the other side of the room, isn't there? Do I want to risk it? No, not at the moment. Let's keep going. Hopefully I can find some way to defend myself. Oh! Not going through that door. Spikes. I can push them with B. Let's work on our kiting skills. Let's see if I can sneak. Let's see if... Alright, so I can get behind them pretty closely and they don't turn around. Yet. I guess they haven't quite learned all their tricks, I bet. Can I... Can I make it? That looks really, really, really far. What about this door? Spikes! Oh, it turns into a skull when it does that. Okay. I'm gonna have to do a little leap of faith. I'm bringing the gun online. Each shot will kill as many as you can line up. As Master Chief would say, I need a weapon many as I can line up. Can I craft shoot? Yep. That did not take down that many of them. Oh, it takes a while to charge. Took down two. Let's see if I can get a two for here. Two for there. There's plenty of energy around you. Okay, hallway's clear. Seems like I can just shoot them anywhere and they'll go down in one shot. And there is a lot of energy. getting up okay let's take this and just get out of here nope we're trapped
Oh, I only took down two of them. I was hoping to get three. I thought you said the gun was lethal. It is. So, the palace resurrected them? Who knows what this death trap is capable of? My guess is things will only get worse. Uh, you really need to work on your motivational skills. Okay. So, shots pierce all the enemies. I can tag them if I aim at them for a couple seconds. And then once they're tagged, it looks like I can kind of quick scope to center mass. Alright. That's going to be useful if the palace can just keep resurrecting enemies. Got a new scepter and a new door. I can go through that door. We can go deeper. Let's go through the door first. Ah, another tuning fork. I bet there's probably a lot of those scattered around. Hey! Oh, a new... A new line. Over here. Oh, over here. Hey! Okay, that's going to be useful for kiting enemies. So when behind an enemy, I can hold B. For what? Okay, I can take him down. But it's not a silent takedown. Can I do it from crouching? Yep. Okay, but that's not silent. Hmm. Things are about to get tricky, I feel. They're everywhere. Oh, yes they are. Other side. Yep. Over here. I'm gonna let them see me. Kite them around. Over here! Over here. Pressing triangle is kind of soft. I can't see anything. Holding triangle. Holding triangle is louder. Area scan. Okay, so it's... Batman Detective Vision. I see. I no longer have my threat ring. Get some power. I mean, they can see me. I can get somewhat close to them without them lunging at the moment. That's good to know. Yeah, we're getting the heck out of here. All right, think I'm safe. Faster after each blackout. If they swarm you, use the gun's riot function. It's not lethal like the main driver, but it will knock down everyone in close proximity. Got it. Okay, so I can use lethal or non-lethal with the gun. Alright. Some down here and over there. 
Oh, there's quite a lot of them. All right, let's check out this riot function. Kite them over here, try and get into the center of them, and see if I can knock them all down with it. Or I'm just going to run past them. Is there any energy? There's a lot of energy around. Scan the area. I feel like I have to get to that door, but I want to see what's over here. Looks like I dropped down there, so I'm going to get back to that door. Oh, I am surrounded. Yep, tuning fork. Alright, I think that was the right call. I'm safe here. Let's keep going. Oh no, the palace is about to learn again. I do not know where to go. I don't think I can go through any of these doors. They're just gonna give me the spikes. Yep. Oh, I guess I have to go that way. Yep. I gotta drop down and get around to the waypoint. There's stuff here. That's a lot of them. There's no way around. Try the riot function on these these things then. Oh no! Oh, that that can't be good. Oh, and I can't drop down. Ooh, all three at once with a full gun charge. Okay. We're just going to blast our way through for a little bit. Cannot drop down. What do I got? A couple over there. Looks like they're not too aggressive yet. Let's see if I can tag them. And then line up the boxes. That's how you get multi-shots easy. Tag them and bag them. line. I should be able to skirt past. Oh no. How did that not get both of them? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm not really playing this like a stealth game at the moment. Ooh, another tuning fork. How fast the takedowns happen. Can I do this and not have that one get close to me? What is that? Ooh, that was close. Over here, it's creating weird imprints of me. How strange. Interesting. Strange is the norm in this place. 
creating little Over shadows here. when I do stuff. Over here. Over here. Over here. That's interesting. I wonder what that could mean. What's that? The matter is strengthening your suit's ability to retain energy from your surroundings. Cell crystals. Oh, they're they're like Zelda heart pieces. I need six of them, and I get more more power for the suit. And then it shows me how many more I need next to my suit's power gauge. That's handy. I like that. Another throne. Well, we learned a lot about combat. Didn't do too much stealthing. Just kind of blasted our way through. But I guess as we go deeper, we're going to need to work on being able to sneak and kite enemies. So... We're going to ascend to the throne and get deeper into the palace next time.